Are you serious? September 23rd? Doomsday? No, but it is a prophetic day for sure. As the Revelation 12 sign in the Bible will be played out in the stars, God's prophetic proclamation that we're entering into a season now where the beast is about to rise. The woman who is Israel, clove in the sun, anointed by God, the moon is under her feet, that's all pagan religions, her crown of stars is now at 12 stars, which are the 12 tribes, and she's paying to be delivered to give birth to the king, uh, uh, to the, you know, the man-child who will rule the world with the rod of iron. This is a proclamation of the beast about to rise. You're entering into a new season, and that's why it's the 33rd day after the solar eclipse. Solar eclipse until the next solar eclipse from August 21st, of course, 2017 till April 8th, 2024 is just short of seven years. And during this season, we're going to watch the beast rise. Okay, it's not that it hasn't already been trying to form, but it's going to be rising. Doesn't mean the Antichrist is going to be in power yet. Matter of fact, I don't even think he will get in complete power in the next seven years. But certainly, you're going to see the new world order turn up the heat. Now, I've got good news, though. This is not doomsday, September 23rd. But it certainly is a new season. But I want to read what John saw and wrote in Revelation 22. Here's what he said. Let me give you some good hope, some blessed hope. He says, and he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. And in the midst of the street of it and on either side of the river was there the tree of life which bare 12 manner of fruits and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the lamb shall be in it. And his servants shall serve him and they shall see his face and his name shall be in their foreheads. And there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun, for the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And he said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. I'm coming quickly. And then Jesus says in verse 12, just to save time here. And behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according to his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. I'm telling you, the king is coming. The proclamation's being proclaimed. Israel will be persecuted. That's what, if you read Revelation 12, it tells you the woman is clothed in the sun. She's anointed by the Lord. She has authority over all pagan religions that are under her feet. The 12 tribes of Israel is the stars in her crown, and she's giving birth to the man-child, but she will be persecuted. There's another wonder in heaven, and that's this red dragon, who is the, who is the devil, is the old serpent, even the devil, Satan, that's going to come after the woman. It tells you that in Revelation chapter 12. It says that this red dragon has seven heads and ten horns. We know this is the beast then because Revelation 13 tells you, I saw a beast rise up out of the sea having seven heads and ten horns. And we know this is the beast, the new world order, because Daniel saw these four major kingdoms and the fourth kingdom was like none other kingdom. Its teeth was like iron ripping out the ribs of its enemies and it had, it had seven heads and ten horns. Horns. Daniel saw it in Revelation 7, 7. 
John sees it in the constellations in Revelation uh, 12. On September 23rd, the proclamation's being made. Then in Revelation 13, it tells you the beast rises out of the sea and will be led by an antichrist whose head was wounded and shall live and will have a false prophet as a sidekick. And they will who? They will go after the woman. Told you that in Revelation 12. But also they go after the saints. They make war with the saints. It says it in Revelation 13, 7. And it was given to him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds, tongues, and nations. So we know the beast is going to rise. And then it doesn't stop there because then, of course, the Antichrist comes in and helps. The, and the Antichrist is in charge of the beast. And then here comes the false prophet. And uh, they continue to fight against the work of the Lord. So this is the season. It's not doomsday. It's not doomsday. Now, we don't know the day nor the hour that the Lord's coming for the bride. That's why Jesus said, be ye ready for an hour you think not the Son of Man cometh. He told you to watch and pray for an hour you think not the Son of Man cometh. He also said, no man knows the day nor the hour. No, not the angels in heaven, not the Son, but the Father only. But he told you that when this gospel is preached into all the world for a witness unto all nations, then shall the end come. And he also said, when you see the, when there must come a falling away first, okay? And that before the man of sin can be revealed. So you're watching and witnessing all of these prophetic events taking place right now. You just happen to be living in the last days. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. This ain't doomsday, but there is a great day coming.